Alrighty. So <laughs> I was just going to leave this morning and so was Maury. And little Lainey just got fed not long ago, but she's no longer in the pen. Let's see if I can see if the little turkey butts came back inside. There she is. Lainey girl. Good morning. Her and Kiss have been playing. Oh, can't forget about Barney. Huh. He's still mad at Mama. She used to be in good for almost seven months pregnant. She never is, by the way. So we're going to let her out. Yeah. Which all I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the gate back. That way in case something happens. And I need to bring him back in, then I can. Wow, dinner time, isn't it, Lainey? Tail's going. Here's an update on my girl. Um, she is Bruna's mommy that has been taking care of Lainey, not nursing-wise, but mothering her in other ways. Um, she's looking better. She's drank a whole bunch more than what she has, but she looked a hell of a lot better than what she did. So I'm hoping we're on the mend with her. Just wow. I literally just stepped out the shop door at the right time. And I'm not sure where it looks better on camera or in real life. Camera's showing it a little more red, but wow. Had to get you this perspective. You're right. Back for another shot. Almost the same perspective, but prettier. Uh, Brooke should be here in just a little bit. She's got a doctor's appointment and Becky's going with her. So I'll make sure Becky was up. And let's see, I think this morning is, I don't know, Blakely's got an appointment there too. The one's at 8 o'clock this morning and the other's at like 1.30 or 2.30 this afternoon, whatever it is. One for Brooke, one for Blakely. So, we'll find out how big Blakely really is. And that's to the south. That's looking toward Ron's. Oh, well, get my day going again. I tag it too. Good morning, Blakely. That way we have Good to morning. Mom don't cry. Unfortunately, she just got a little pukey. Huh? What time, Brooke? Didn't get her mother. I said mom don't cry. But did get her grandmother. Uh, yeah, I had to change. <laughs> Sorry. He's so. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning. Oh, by now you've seen Sunrise, Sunrise, Brooke and Blakely, and there, or Sunrise. Now we'll just see what the day really brings. They keep changing the amount of rain, well, the percentage for today. Last I saw, they decided it was 25%. No, 15%. It was 35% shortly before that. So, let's see. We'll see if we get wet or not. Just think, there was room in there until this morning. You could get way back past up there. Not now. But, the trailer's almost empty. Going through clothes that might fit vaguely now. That's the fit pile. Damn, you know how old this is. Ancient. <laughs> right? What do you think? Yes. It might go under a penny. It'll go under this. Blankets. Blankets are always good. I'm oh, assuming so Becky's got to keep Oh, these are pressed on the earrings that you guys had. You didn't wear Pierce ears. There's I don't one. think this will fit her little chubby neck, though. Didn't fit yours either. <laughs> uh, 
The shoes are like Frosty. Wait, is there another pair in no, there? You never know what you find. Uh -oh. Blew the underneath off. Oiled the casters and the wheels. Set it over the wall outside and let Ty and Brooke carry it in. Since Brooke is here today, we'll get something out of her. Now Becky has to figure out where to put it in her mess. But she says she's using it for the office, and that's fine. I think her plan is to put the printer down there, so I've got to... I'd like it so she could shut it, keep it cleaner. Of course, at the moment, the printer's sitting out in the open, so who knows. I may, might make a piece to wedge back to unlock the drawers with that closed. We'll see. Oh. There's your parting shot of her. So, Gary, go see the doctor. Go see how much she weighs, how tall she is. Go from there. So we will see her tomorrow. Won't we, Blakely? Yeah, pardon my hand. Won't we? we we'll see you tomorrow? Yeah? Yeah? Are you sure? Okay. Left to my own device this afternoon. I figured I'd put some more stuff up there. So yeah, two monkey wrenches are up there with the others. Dad's old torque wrench spring torque wrench. Uh, I snuck a hole in the back side of the handle so there's a screw actually inside the handle holding it to the wall. And who all knows what that is? Give you an idea. We used that when we had the we rebuilt the 4010 we pulled all the valves out. The valve spring compressor. However, to make it work on the 4010, see if I can zoom in. There's a funny looking little collar on that cross piece. We had to put that on in the fork to get those apart. And we tried another one we have too. I was just looking at this other one. It's gonna hang up there somewhere. It may go above that one. No, age above beauty, right? And I always knew it was, you know, kind of beat up. It looks like it's kind of sprung, too, which it very well could be. God knows what it was used on. We got to looking at it. I mean, that is just about perfect right there for what it's got to do. Sort of, right? See how there's a double step on the right side? So, just about perfect thinking that was probably a mistake when it was made, but uh, when you look at it, it's not smooth. There is very little of it that's actually, well, I mean, it's smooth to the touch here, but you can see, and here was probably from somebody beating on it, but when you look at it, it's all hand forged. The whole thing. Hammer marks all the way around. Looks like they did a really good job of getting that together, too. So, godly knows how old this is. You can see how the upright isn't perfect. It thins down. So, I thought that was kind of cool. I have no idea if that was something Dad had or something Grandpa had. I just remember that's always been here in the shop. It was either here in the shop or in the basement, one or the other. It's been out here for quite some time. But no, I think that's pretty freaking cool. So, it's going to find a spot up there. In my style, I got to turn the radio off. One of uh, my Canadian friends on TikTok. He's Put a video up with Bon Jovi, Wanted Dead or Alive. That's one of my favorite songs. So, hey, it's over there. CD's in there. It's been on repeat for the last, I don't know, two hours. Except for what I'm videoing because, you know, I broke it. Not really. This is the one I was taking stuff apart with the other day. It's why I gave up. Can you see why I gave up? And, uh, Bryce mentioned he's filed some rather than replacing the jaws. 
you know, all honesty, like I told him, I have never seen a set of replacement jaws any place. I mean, I'm sure you can get them, you can order them, but I've never seen a set. Ah, painted black on the end, so that was one of mine. Yes, it got broke. Uh, I did it. No, I didn't do the top jaws on it. They're missing some chunks, but for the most part, they're pretty good. The bottom jaw was really messed up. If it will keep the focus on it. It's got some bite to it now, maybe too much, I don't know. I evened it up, took the flat disc, and evened it up enough that there'd be more than one grabbing. That orange one's one we found along the road years ago. This one here, this was one of Dad's. Hey, matches that one. What do you know? Um, I think I did got his. Yeah, I couldn't get the bottoms as good. They were pretty beat up. Top was beat up too, and with the four and a half inch cutoff wheel, you cannot get the angle this way to get into them. You, know, you do a little bit out here, but once you're in here, you're pretty much straight. So I don't know how well it's going to work. I thought about taking a little air grinder with a little tiny disc on it and trying, but that's better than it was. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, see, that brings us to this one. I haven't done that yet. And most of them, the top jaws, are in pretty decent shape. It's a couple of these old ones. You know, that one's a little issue. This thing belongs in here with the spring in a spot here, and it's been screwed up. This one, I don't know that it's screwed up. It's a different setup. Tool steel, 14 inch. That's all it says on it. With this one, the spring comes to ouch. The spring comes down the side, and it's got a little bit of one to the front. I'm not going to try to touch it. It, it may be running a spot up on the wall. I don't know. But I'm just coming over here and setting it down and holding on to it and facing it up. Then taking this and running down each one. So we'll have some more usable pipe wrenches. I don't think the big ones. Eh, I shouldn't say I don't think the big ones need it. <laughs> Focus. That looks a little flat in there. So the other one looks even worse. But, uh, yeah, that one's in really good shape. This one's not too bad. It's missing some chunks. But that's what I'm doing. Oh, look, another one has been welded on. I wonder how the hell that happens. Probably has absolutely nothing to do with putting a pipe on the end and jumping up and down or Actually, probably the worst thing is when we've gotten in a position where you need to go the other way and it doesn't move. That one was done with the wire feed. This one was done probably pre-wire feed because looking at that, I don't think I did that with the wire feed. I think I did that with the stick. I know it's been a long time. Yeah, I know I did it with the stick. You can see the impurity spot there. And that's actually held up. That kind of stuff, sometimes you're lucky with sticks, sometimes you're not. Wire feed seems to always do it. But I like that one. That offset on it, that's kind of nice. It just makes it easier to work. Really can't explain it until you're using it. So anyway, this is what I've been doing for a little bit. Other than spin you around, make us both dizzy, I did put it up. The lower one, I mean, that's one we can still use, you know, how we used it, what, two years ago. Um, that's just got two screws holding it at the base of both handles where they all come together. So it's in a crotch. Come up on a ladder, take it down easy. The other one's got a screw in that corner, a screw against the, on the bottom side against the screw, and one on each side on the T-handle. Don't want it going anywhere. It might hurt. And there's a few other things hang, already hanging that really belong up there, I guess. Set it. Oh, 
a set of cow hobbles. Old metal hook style. Those are there because there ain't nowhere else to put them, right? And uh, that vice grip looking deal, that's actually for a chainsaw chain breaker sledger. And that's probably, of course, that's an antique. Don't have a cable to run through it. That might be about it. Well, everything's in here is antique, except for them fancy toolboxes. That's that's some new stuff. Oh, and some of my Dewalt tools. Otherwise, realistically, everything is old enough to be considered an antique, just by age. Even them newfangled jacks. Oh, well, I'm gonna get this one done and feed, and put a video up. So. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody had a great hump day. Hope everybody has a great Thursday.